Hi, it's Sue Fletcher here, the astrologer, and today I wanted to talk to you about which moon phase you were born under. This is uh, quite interesting because whichever moon phase you were born under, it does affect your personality. Now, um, if you Google uh, the moon phase for your date of birth, you will be able to find it. And I'm going to tell you what all the moon phases mean. So if you toddle off and then after that, go and have a look, you'll be able to see if it matches your personality, if you think it matches your personality. Okay, so obviously the first moon phase is um, the new moon. We can't see that in the sky. And you could, well, be born under a new moon phase. And each phase lasts about four days. So you, um, if you're born under a new moon phase, um, you're very um, instinctive, subjective, you respond impulsively, and you like to project your personality and people really know that you're around. So that's the new moon phase. So the next moon phase is the crescent moon. You know when you can just see the little bit of the crescent moon? So these people are very self-assertive, confident, and they like to make an impression on the world. So they're quite strong people. And then we get the first quarter moon, which also is quite strong-willed. Um, and they have an emphasis on their ego and um, they are the empire builder. And they want to build something, they want to build something of note, some kind of framework that people remember them for. Um, so then we have the gibbous moon, and uh, this is just approaching the full moon. So it's not full, it's coming up to full. And these people are always searching for understanding or a revelation of some kind. And they are really into personal growth. So they probably go and put themselves on personal growth courses, workshops and that kind of thing. They really are interested in finding out about themselves. So then we get the full moon. Um, and this is quite an emotional um, uh, moon phase. And relationships mean everything to the full moon type. But they can reject relationships because they're never quite good enough. You know, they're looking for the ideal person or the ideal character. As I said, they're emotional with inner conflicts and can be often at war with themselves. But they're open, objective and they're into fulfillment. You know, the, the, they are thinking about fulfillment, but, you know, they can, the emotions can actually pull them back. Um, which can be, um, yeah, a bit of a detriment to them, really. So then, once we've had the full moon, we go to the dissemination moon. And this is the waning period of the moon. And these people are really go inside themselves. They, you know, they, they want to learn, they want to experience things, they want to understand, they're ideas people, they are... Um, they study, you know, all their experiences that they've had. They have impressed them, you know. They they kind of use all that in their life, and they can be the teacher or the crusader, or they could be the fanatic as well. So then we have the third quarter or the last quarter moon, and um, this is um, these people are kind of. They represent um, a crisis in consciousness. And with this type of person, that they, they can be, um, well, they can have a lack of flexibility, shall we say. Or, you know, they can be quite stubborn or um, they need to force their issues uh, on other people. They are the reformer, the statesman, the statesman. Um, and um, they want to fit uh, their personal ideas and philosophies into an organized system. Um, so it, it is, a, I think, um, it is about internalizing stuff and then using that for the good of other people. And then we have the balsamic moon phase, which is the last phase before we have the next new moon. 
and it's actually about three days before the new moon and this type of person is um, geared towards the future um, it's future directed but although we might feel um, is it um, the end of an old cycle um, and he actually has this awareness of the past and the present um, and it, although he's tuned into the future um, his past will have an effect on his future he will use his past towards the future if that makes sense so there we are there we've had we've we've had all the um the eight phases of the moon and i would like you to go and find out and see what you are and uh, see if it rings any bells for you so this is sue fletcher the astrologer saying bye for now and i will be back very soon with more astrology so bye for now